music, an important part of the entertainment industry. And when it comes to the sports entertainment industry, things are no different, as entrance music in particular is a very crucial part of the entire experience. However, not all theme songs are created equal, as some are definitely better than others. So what's the secret to their success? How do we make a wrestling song truly great? Well, not to toot my own horn, but when it comes to the world of music, I'm a very accomplished- Oh please, they kicked you off a triangle in third grade. That story's being taken a bit out of context. I was taken off a triangle because uh, I kicked and stunned a principal. Yeah. No, you didn't. I could've. Anyway, if you guys aren't gonna listen to me on this subject, then who are you possibly gonna get to talk about this, huh? Well, we could just get someone who's actually composed music for Ring of Honor and New Japan. <laughs> okay, if you could find that guy, go ahead. I'll gladly defer to someone else's expertise and take a sidestep for this episode. It's not... Thank you to all my wonderful Patreon supporters, such as Bob86, Cool Ass Jack, and Anigo Montoya. The help is greatly appreciated, and if you're not a Patreon supporter yet and want to become one, then go over to my Patreon page. Thank all of you so much. Allow me to introduce to you my very special guest for this episode, John Kiernan. Now, I highly encourage that you go out there, check out his stuff, and give him a follow on social media and all of his platforms. And while you're at it, also make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and that you set your notification notifications to on. That way you always know when brand new content just like this comes out. Anyway, without further ado, let's all find out a little bit more about how pro wrestling music gets made. So take it away, John. How's it going, everybody? My name is John Kiernan. I am a wrestling entrance theme song composer. You may have heard some of my music over on New Japan, over on the United Wrestling Network, across the Indies, and a variety of different companies for names such as Fred Rosser, PJ Black, Chris Dickinson, and so many more. Did I just do the Troy McClure? Did did I just pull The Simpsons? Yeah, I just pulled The Simpsons. Anyway, I'm here to talk about what makes an awesome wrestling entrance theme. Now I'm coming at this from two different perspectives, both the professional side and the fan side. I've been a fan of wrestling since I was a little kid, as many of you have as well. So we're gonna talk about it from two different angles, what it takes to get the wrestlers the best entrance music possible and really bring their character vision to life. So the first thing that goes into writing the best entrance theme possible is the entrance theme has to be instantly recognizable. The thing about a great wrestling entrance theme is that as soon as it hits, you know exactly who the wrestler is. Think of your favorite entrance themes from over time, whether that be from WWF, WWE, WCW, even AEW and some of the more modern wrestling companies. Think about The Undertaker's theme. Think about Stone Cold's theme. One of my favorite themes is Kane's theme, his original theme, Burn. As soon as you heard that organ hit, you knew that everybody in the ring instantly regretted all of their life decisions. When you have an entrance theme that's instantly recognizable, people know exactly what to expect even before they see you. And I think that's really important. People should know about your character and they should know the feel and the aura that you're giving off before you even step foot onto the rampway. Some wrestlers have an instantly recognizable, like let's say a musical hit at the beginning. A lot of wrestlers, which I think is extremely effective and something I did for Fred Rosser's New Japan theme called No Days Off, he recorded a vocal sample of him saying, it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. <laughs> That's the first thing that you hear. It's very much like The Rock's, if you smell what The Rock is cooking. I think if you have something like that at the beginning, it instantly lets people know who the wrestler is and what they're about. And especially if that wrestler is extremely charismatic, then it's gonna sell that even more. And remember, if we know anything about wrestling, that first pop and that first impression that the crowd gives to the wrestler is extremely important in the trajectory of their career. Another point I want to touch on is that a wrestling entrance theme needs to fit the wrestler's persona. There's a lot of great music out there, and there's a lot of music that wrestlers may be into outside of their character. But remember, the thing that sells the character of the wrestler is the total package, the visuals, the in-ring, the promos, and the music. 
a wrestler may be into rock, they may be into country, they may be into rap, they may be into Zydeco, all these different styles outside of their character. But their character may portray something completely different. I don't think that Kane just listens to organ music. I don't think that Undertaker Mark Calloway listens to funeral dirges on his off time. Maybe he does. I don't know. But the point is, they created, and by they I mean Jim Johnson, created a theme for those characters that is instantly recognizable, but is something that fits the character to a T. Here's a fun idea for you. When you're watching your favorite wrestling program now, mute the TV and put on just a random song from your iPod. iPod, I sound like I'm from the 2000s. Put on a random piece of music from your iPhone or from your Android device. And this could be any piece of music that you like. This could be whatever style you like. And see if the piece of music fits the wrestler. Will you make Nyla Rose come out to a country song? Will you make Seth Rollins come out to a heavy metal song? Wait, he already does that, and he's done that for a while. The best wrestling entrance themes highlight what the character is supposed to be about. Some of the best wrestling themes that I've written have been for wrestlers that really know who their character is, know what their story is, and know what they're looking for. My job as a composer is to make that vision come true. And if a wrestler knows what their character is supposed to be, what their motivations are, and even has a strong visual for them, it makes my job to create that sonic vision that much easier. Another thing to consider is that first 90 seconds of a wrestler's entrance theme. We just talked about that initial hit from when the wrestler first hits the entrance ramp. But the wrestler doesn't just stand on the entrance ramp, most of the time. They come down to the ring, they get in the ring, and they often are either in a match cutting a promo, but they're delivering their character to an audience. That music really needs to carry throughout the time from when the wrestler gets from the entrance ramp to the ring and does their business. Jim Johnston put it best, and it stays with me to this day when I write entrance themes. A wrestler's entrance theme is often like a score for a movie. Oftentimes a wrestler has only up to 90 seconds to get to the ring and start their business. If you're listening to some of your favorite entrance themes on Spotify or Apple Music, you may notice that a lot of them have this round form where they might have one part that comes in followed by another, and then it tends to repeat and loop a couple of times. That's very common when it comes to wrestling entrance themes, and you'll probably notice that a lot of that variation happens within that first 60 to 90 seconds. The first 90 seconds of a wrestler's entrance theme are extremely important in helping to build that character on their walk down to the ring, their entrance into the ring, and just continuing to develop the aura of the character. Another point to consider is that the best entrance themes can work for a wrestler whether they're working as a babyface or a heel. Now, there are definitely wrestlers that work more babyface or more heel, more good guy or bad guy, but I think the best entrance themes don't just highlight the fact that they're a good person or they fight on the side of evil. I think the best entrance themes, as we've talked about a couple times here, work to describe the character. Think about Shinsuke Nakamura for a second. He has two separate themes, one for when he's a babyface and one for when he went heel in WWE. When you think of the babyface version, The Rising Sun, you see that it's an extremely anthemic piece of music. It's something that people can sing along to, the crowd can get behind it, and you see how much people are behind him when he comes to the ring. However, his heel theme was catered so that people can't sing along quite as easily to his entrance theme. Although people try, and we see that on WWE, you can tell that they created two separate themes that were based on one theme, but did fit two separate personas. And again, that's fine to do too, but I think the best entrance themes don't just look at the current trajectory of a character, they look at who the character is and bring out those qualities of said wrestler. Think about the Young Bucks entrance theme in AEW Super Kick Party. I can already hear all you do in the Super Kick Party. Please take this second, I'm gonna give you a second to say Super Kick Party. There you go. When they're coming out as baby faces, the crowd really gets behind them. And you could see that at AEW Revolution. You could see that at all the pay-per-views when they were baby faces. But when they're heels, you can hear it as this over-the-top, arrogant, still brash piece of music. And again, that's what the Young Bucks are at the end of the day. Whether they're baby faces or whether they're heels, they know that they're one of the best tag teams in the world. And their theme accurately reflects that. I think if you can really dive deeper into the character as opposed to just the surface level, are they a good guy or a bad guy, the piece of music that's created for them for their entrance theme can play an even bigger role in them becoming a bigger star and in developing their character regardless of what side of the field they're playing on.
One of the most important things that I want to touch on for a good wrestling entrance theme is the pacing of the song. Making sure that the pacing matches the wrestler is extremely important in having the audience understand who the wrestler is and what the wrestler is about. Oftentimes, wrestlers who are high flyers or are more quick moving in the ring will often get pieces of music written for them that are a little bit faster paced, a bit faster tempo, if you will. Wrestlers who fall more in the big man powerhouse will often have themes that are a little bit slower to really highlight their strength and dominance. One great example of a well-paced theme is the theme that It Lives, It Breathes and I created for Brian Myers of Impact Wrestling in the NWF pod. A well-paced entrance theme can also really help a wrestler plot out their entrance, making sure that they are not rushing or being too slow getting to the ring. As much as we love these entrance themes and we can listen back to them for our own enjoyment, the main purpose of an entrance theme is to highlight the character and get them to the ring feeling confident and pushing them as best as possible. Check out a small snippet of the ride to check out the pacing. gives the audience the ability to really get into the song when Brian Myers is entering the ring. Thanks so much to Dave from Dave Knows Wrestling for giving me the opportunity to come on his show and speak to you about wrestling entrance themes. If you're a wrestler looking for custom entrance music, feel free to send me an email at johnkiernanmusic at gmail.com and you can visit my website www.johnkiernanmusic.com. You can also find me over on Facebook and Instagram at johnkiernanmusic. You can find my music on Apple Music, Spotify, and all different streaming services, including YouTube, by searching my name, John Kiernan, and my band, It Lives, It Breathes. You can find my music with a variety of different wrestlers from all different promotions, including New Japan, Ring of Honor, and so many more. And you can also pick up one of these sweet shirts, my favorite music is wrestling theme, over on belowthecollar.com slash John Kiernan Music. Thanks so much once again for listening to me talk about wrestling entrance themes. Now, back to you from Dave Knows. A very special thanks to John Kiernan for being the special guest on this episode. And thank you for watching, as well as thank you to all of my awesome Patreon supporters. Please make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. And if you want to continue showing support, go over and visit my Patreon page. Thank you so much to everyone once again. And as always, Dave Knows.